Is the serving size on labels accurate to go off of or should we be ignoring it? I guess the answer to that depends on what you're using those numbers for or what you mean by accurate, but they're going to be as accurate as they can be. And um, I'll kind of explain what I mean by that. So there's a lot of variation that goes on when you're making a product. So I always like to use chocolate chip cookies for an example, because most of us have made cookies at home. So if you make a batch of chocolate chip cookies, so I make nutrition panels for products and it's based off of the formula and then based off of some other factors, whether, you know, some product is lost or moisture is lost. So there's some more calculations involved with just inputting the formula. But just to make it simple, let's just say it's based off of the formula. So then you're basically accounting for all those ingredients going into the cookies and then basing it on how many cookies it makes. And then you can figure out the, the nutrition per cookie or whatever the serving size is. So there's gonna be variation within nutrition of the ingredients. Every single measurement, of course, in a manufacturing facility is going to be pretty accurate, but there's, there's a margin of error with every single measurement. There's a margin of error within the nutrition of all of the ingredients going into a product. And then the finished product, there's going to be variation in you know size of cookies again at a manufacturing facility they're going to be pretty similar but there is a margin of error with every single cookie weight you know if you're making like chocolate chip cookies the the number of chocolate chips per cookie is not going to be exactly the same so it's accurate to the amount that it can be accurate to if that makes any sense. And that is also why the plus or minus 20% is allowed because we can't make these things more accurate than they are. If you've taken any math, statistics, engineering classes, you know significant figures. And if you're measuring something on a scale that measures to the nearest pound, you wouldn't be able to report that number to the nearest like 0.1 pounds because your scale doesn't measure that precise. The same thing goes with this. You're including all those margins of error and all of those places where things aren't very precise. So they're accurate to what we need them to be accurate for. If you're doing a very precise calculation with those numbers, there is a plus or minus 20% to those numbers. Hopefully that helps. That probably made it even more confusing.